Don't go with the flow, be the flow. Don't do what other people do if it doesn't suit you. Do what you want to do. Why not? Before Turkey, I lived uh, what is, is, I suppose, a very normal life for living in London. I was in business, I was a manager, uh, I ran companies, um, I had a house there. It's very, um, it's what, I suppose, in England, it's, it's the, the thing that people strive for. I want a good job, I want a nice house in a nice area, and you know, that's, that's me complete. And I thought, well, it's not me complete. <laughs> I came to this country 15 years ago and I came here to make glass and it was out at Bekos in Pashabache, uh, a place called Jamoja Glass Furnace and it's the most fantastic place. They invite glass makers from all over the world to come and teach there and I was lucky enough to go there with a friend and it was wonderful. And then we'd arranged to come into Istanbul before we left for two days. And when we arrived in Istanbul, I was stunned by the city. I really couldn't believe all the things in one place, the historical things, the new things. It's an amazing city. It's, it's just, you can walk down a street and you will see the remains of an old wall, but it's, somebody's built a shop on top of it. And it's, it's just such a, I have to use my hands, uh, a juxtaposition, you know, of, of the new and old, all mixed up and sometimes all together. And then I decided that I was going to live here. 14 years later, I'm still here. And I still love the city. England is, is a cold place co compared with Turkey. Um, I'm not talking about the temperature, it's, it's the, the culture. You know, rules are rules in England. In Turkey, they're just a suggestion. Even the laws are just a suggestion. And that's something that makes me crazy and happy at the same time. British people tend to keep their personal space at a distance, and here, there is no personal space, <laughs> absolutely none. And it's just this, this chaotic atmosphere. Um, I don't think most British people could live like that. I love the chaos of that, it drives me crazy, but I love the chaos too. There, there's was that a t-shirt with, with the bridge, and it says, uh, some people call it chaos, I call it home. In 2011, this 
Ella? Ella? <laughs> that one that just walked across here. She uh, managed to get out and it took me 10 days to find her. Ella. And while I was looking for her, I really looked at all the, the street cats. I was sitting with them, you know, and they were so sweet and so needy, not just for food, but for love. After that, I thought, well, there must be other people who are helping these street cats because I started to notice the food and I started to think, well, if this person over here is feeding the cats and this person over there is feeding the cats, why don't I make a group on Facebook to network all these people so that they can help each other? And the idea really took off and now we have 7,000 members. those dogs but I don't know the man that's walking them so that's another thing you tend to know people by their animals you know you recognize the animal but the person doesn't really register so much I really like the vibe here I like the fact that when you can walk you can just go out of your front door and you've got wonderful coffee shops and cake shops and a little supermarket and, and a fabulous ice cream place and cheese shop. It's like England used to be in the, in the 50s and 60s. Uh, I'm quite creative. I love to, to make things that cat tree. Um, I made it from branches from the garden, which I prepared and then some friends helped me bring them up. And it, it's great for them, they really like it. And I like to mess around in my, my small garden on my balcony and uh, make sure that all the, the flowers and uh, plants are thriving. Uh, I have a t-shirt that says, kindness is always fashionable. Um, just be a decent person, you know? Be a thoughtful person. Turkish people, they love you with food and gifts and the culture of taking your shoes off before you go into someone's apartment. Now, when I see people in films just walk into somebody's house with their shoes on, it's shocking, you know, <laughs> it's really shocking. So that's, that's something from, from the Turkish culture that I will always keep uh, wherever I am. Yeah. And uh, Burek.
this is one of the, the highlights of, of Jahangir life when you're able to go downstairs. Um, sitting in cafes, talking with friends and having the cats just come by and say hello, like you. Hey, you monkey. Since I, I was disabled and I couldn't do, well, for the first two months, I couldn't do anything for myself and friends would stay. And how many people did so many wonderful things to help me and to help the animals as well. It was like they became my extra um, because I wasn't able to do it. And that was very gratifying. And, and I felt very supported. And, uh, and it makes you realize um, what a fantastic network of people are actually around you. I'm glad I'm wearing dark glasses because I'm crying again. I think the purpose of life is to learn what's important, to love and be loved by people who care about you and who you care about. Living in a, in a small apartment with a, a little bit of sunshine and, and some furry cats is, I'm much happier, much, much happier.